Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about the direct sum of the subspace. This symbol is called as the direct sum. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So this lecture is the continuation of the previous one where we have discussed the vector space, intersection, linear span, all are available in the playlist Mathematics 2. So first of all, in order to define the direct space, we must understand what is the linear sum. So if you have the two vector space W1 and W2, then the linear sum is defined as a set which consists of the collection of all those elements which belongs to the W1 and W2. For example, if you have the two subspace like of this, then you can uh, add them that is like as a linear sum of this, this plus this that is called as the 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, this is 0, 4 and so on. Or in, in more journal, if you have the uh, V2, V2 is nothing but my R2 space, that is XY plane. If W1 is my here, W2 is my this, then you can find the sum of one like here. What is the meaning of that? This is the element of the W1, this is the element of the W2. What is that? If you look about this one, if this is a single point, that is nothing but my 2, 3R here. What about that? This is a T is a scalar. So if T is my 1, it will be my 3, 1. If t will be my 2, then it will be my 6, 2. Now it's 6, my 2 here and so on. It means it is uh, here. Clearly sees that w2 is a line which are passing through the origin because if you, since it is a scalar, if you consider t as a 0, then it will be the 0, 0. So it passes through here. While w1 is a set consists of only one vector here. What will happen on the linear sum? So if you look about here, what will happen if t is my 0? It means it's a 2, 3. That is whatever the curve, whatever the line of this W1 and W2, it passes through the 2 comma 3 like of here. This line, the meaning of W1 plus W2 is this is line which is parallel to here, which is parallel to this line. That is this is W1 plus W2 which is parallel to the uh, W2 and passing through the point 2 comma 3. If you look about the another one, if you have W1 is the another one is a scalar and W2 is the consists of the T2 scalar, then here clearly sees that what is the meaning of that W1 plus W2. If you see that this both the lines are passing through the horizon and it's a plane and what is the meaning of that? This is nothing but my XY plane because Z component is 0. What is the meaning of that? It is nothing but my YZ plane because X is 0. So if you add them then what is the meaning of that? If you take T1 and T2 both as a 0, what is the meaning of that? It is origin. So it means this is a plane which consists of these three lines that is a is plane of the XYZ which passes through the origin. Also we can write this as the lin LS is called as the linear span. We will discuss in our last lecture what is the linear span are here. Also, we will see that the, uh, the linear sum is nothing but the subspace of the vector space. How you can prove the subspace? As we discussed that, we have to prove these two properties. Firstly, we have to prove that this is a subset of this and the linear sum are. How you can prove that it's a subset of this? We can start from the x or we can take w from here and our target is to prove this w is nothing but my vr. So by applying the definition of the linear sum, we can say it can be written like here. What about the W1 and W2? These are the subspaces of the V. It means it is also the part of the V because here W1 and W2 are the subset of the V. So if W1 and W2 both are the V, so it means V plus V is nothing but my V is here. So therefore, the first property satisfied. Look about the second property. What you can do is you can start from the two elements X and Y. If X and Y belongs to this, what is the meaning of that? It means X is nothing but the U1 plus V1 where u1 is belong to the w1, v1 is belongs to the w2. Similarly for the y. Now our target is to find the alpha x plus beta y and our target is to prove it belongs to the here. We can substitute the value of the x and y and we can equate them. So when it will be belongs to the w1 and w2, only when this part you can prove that it's belong to the w1, this part you can belongs to the w2, then by the definition of the linear sum. What is the u1 and u2? Both are belongs to the w1 and w1 is the subspace. So what is the meaning of that? Linear sum is also with the belongs to the w1. Similarly for here. Now this part belongs to the w1. This belongs to the w2. So by the definition of the linear sum, it becomes a subspace. 
this results can be extended to the n subspace if you have the n number of the subspaces are there then the linear sum of the n uh, subspace is also be the subspace we can also uh, see that the linear sum is nothing but what is the meaning of this this is nothing but the span that is the linear span so the sum of the linear sum of the two subspace is the nothing but the space generated by the unit now you can see it is a equality how you can prove the equality are there that is you have to prove that one is contained in the others how you can prove this first part that's a very simple again we can start with the first we can take the one element which belongs to this and our target is to prove the same elements belongs to the here that's a simple task for that similarly for here so since it is a union we can start from the here i can take w belongs to this now my target is to prove this belongs to the here how you can prove that that's very simple first we can this the or so firstly we will consider this part w belongs to the w1 now how i can write that since zero is always belongs to the subspace so i can write this element of here what is the meaning of w plus zero is nothing but my here this means this one is here so since w belongs to the union so i can write this as union belongs to this one similarly for here i can write this value as of this which belongs to the w1 plus w2 why because zero is also belongs to the w1 or you can say here so from this one and also we know that the linear span because this we need as a linear span linear span is always with the smallest subspace of this here and w1 plus w2 is the subspace contain of the union that is this part is from my one so by the definition of the linear space we can write like here how you can prove the second part we can take the one element from here and target is to prove them in the linear span of the union so we can take the one element x which belongs to the u1 plus u2 in the sum where is here now when it will be the linear sum what is the meaning of that this is nothing but my linear span so our target is to prove x belongs to the linear span all of you know that what is the linear span that is the linear combinations of the elements so what is that what is the linear sum so can i write this x u1 since u1 belongs to the w1 what is the meaning of that u1 belongs to the union similarly w2 belongs to the w2 uh, w2 then you can write x w1 is also belongs to this so from these two we can write like here now the only thing is we have to prove their linear sum so can i write this element as one dot into of this and it is nothing but my alpha i of ui what is the meaning of that this is nothing but the linear combination and what is the definition of linear span is here so we can start from here we reach at this one so what is the meaning of that it means so from this equation number 1 and this equation number 2 we can get here now based on this linear sum now we can define as a direct sum of the subspace any vector space w is the direct sum of the two subspace denoted by here if each elements of this can be written as a uniquely in the form of this where u1 is belongs to the first el first subspace and second is here it is clearly sees that if whenever there is a di direct sum space it can it is implies as a linear sum but converse is not true so why it's not true we will see the examples uh, in the couple of this slide what are the necessary and the sufficient condition for the vector space to be the direct space if whenever this is a linear sum and their intersection will be zero or you can say w1 and w2 are the vector space then it is a direct space if and only if this property is satisfied so how you can prove that we can prove that like it's so very simple we firstly assume that this is the direct sum and our target is to prove these two properties this part is quite obvious by the definition of the direct sum it implies here now our target is to prove the intersection is empty how you can prove that i can take one element v which belongs to this which is a non zero so what is the meaning of that it means v is belongs to the intersection it means intersection is also the part of the subspace so we can say v is here what is a v v is nothing but my vector space so i can write this v as of here that is direct sum now by the definition of the direct sum it can be written like of this 0 plus v if 0 belongs to w1 or v plus 0 if this one is here but this is a contradiction 
why because once it's a direct sum then it can be written as a unique form but here we can see it can be written as two different form which is contradiction to the direct sum what is the meaning of that it means v is not zero is our supposition is wrong hence w v is a zero is the only possibilities so this part satisfied look about the converse part assume that this part will be satisfied then your target is to prove here how you can prove this part is that is you have to simply prove each element of the v can be written as a uniquely so we can take one of the element of the v which belongs to this one which can be written like of here then your target is to prove this element is my unique representation so again we will try to prove by contradiction assume that this is the any of the another representations so once this is the another representation then from one and two what you conclude that we can write like here i can take the elements of the u1 which are both belongs to the w1 i can take on the left side and here now we knows that w1 belongs to this small w1 is belongs to this one and w1 is my subspace it is given to you so what is the meaning of that it means this part is also belongs to the w1 by using because if i take alpha is 1 beta is minus 1 then it becomes here similarly from this side we know that w2 is belongs to the uh, where is w2 belongs to the capital w2 u2 belongs to this and w2 is also the subspace we can write like here further what is the u2 this is nothing but my u1 minus v1 it belongs to the here so i can consider this as equation number 2 so from equation this is equation number 2 this is equation number 3 so what is that this is my equation number 3 this is equation number 2 so left hand side is same what is the meaning of that it means this elements belongs to their intersection so what what is the intersection is there that's nothing but my zero so what is the meaning of that it is u1 minus w1 is zero it means they are same so once u1 is equal to w1 you can substitute from 1 what you conclude that w2 is nothing but my u2 so it means this representation and this representations are my unique ones so hence this is my direct sum look at some examples are there how you can prove that whether it's a direct sum or not so you have to prove like here so for this what you want to prove that it means your target is to prove firstly here second is their intersection should be a zero where i you can consider r cube as a v if you want so that's a very simple so i can take any of the element v so i will firstly take uh, to prove that r cube is nothing but my here how you can prove that i can take the one element say v belong the r cube so since it's r cube so i can consider here now my target is to prove i can write this element in terms of the w1 and w2 look about the w1 elements in which z component is zero so it means i can take this as z component zero and what is the w2 is all the elements are same so i can consider this as x x and x like of here so since this is so i can consider here as x is my zero for example so then i can write this as x is zero if you want z as a zero you can write here now since x is zero can you find these two elements so that their sum will be x by z now since it is my x and i need a y so i can write this as y minus x since it is a x i need a z i can write this as z minus x so what is the meaning of that so so remember i can change this as a x so this element can this elements belong to w1 yes because the first element is my zero can this elements belong to the w2 yes because all are same so what is the meaning of that this belongs to the here so i can start with the w which belongs to the r cube and it also be here what is that this is nothing but my here now since w1 and w2 are my subset of this r cube and the subspace so it is obvious that it is there so from here you can write like this way. so uh, or in other word but you can say that in in order uh, in order to prove what uh, is a equality there is enough to prove this part is there it is enough to prove because this is always be true this is always be there so it means it is enough to prove like here now the second part is you have to prove that their intersection will be zero 
how you can prove that i can take the one element v from here now what is the meaning of that if this means this belongs to w1 and this belongs to the w2 so once it belongs to w1 what is the meaning of that this means x is 0 and once it belongs to w2 it means x is y is z so what is that if x is 0 it means y is 0 z is 0 so what is that this is what is the value of the x y z it is nothing but 0 0 and 0 what is the x y z is v it means v is my 0 and that's our required target so therefore intersection is 0 sum is 1 so we uh, sum is the direct space so we can say it is a direct space Look at the another one where we have to prove the counter example where the uh, RQ can be written as the linear sum but it is not the direct sum. What is the condition that this is the what is the meaning of that this is XY plane. This is nothing but my YZ plane. So again our target is to prove same one we can take V as the element of this. Now here Z component is 0 here is X0 so your target is to find these two elements are there. So how you can find that that's a very simple so since it is a 0 and we need a z so it means this must be a z again the first component is 0 and we need a x it means this value must be of x now for what value of this y and here y you have to substitute so that this becomes a y so can you find that that's a very simple you can take either as a y by 2 here is also y by 2 which satisfy this property or you can consider this as a 3 y by 4 this is y by 4 then again you can get as a y and so on and you can see this representation is not unique so once it is not unique what is the meaning of that this intersection is not zero that is you can take one combination as of this and clearly sees that this elements belong to the w1 first second and the third component zero this is here so from here you can easily prove that this is nothing but my here on the other hand there there is a one possibilities are there another possibility is that you can write like say y by 3 2 y by 3 or you can write as y by 2 comma 0 again it becomes a same of the x y z so therefore this element is representation is not unique because they have the more than one element so you can say it is not the direct sum this you can uh, try yourself this the sum of the element is a zero and it can be any of the real number where x and first and third components are same you can try it yourself and let me know your answer in the comment box i hope you can simply learn these lectures in a very simple manner we will see in our next class how we can define the linear independence and the dependency of the vectors till then you can simply follow this playlist channel name here you can find the various videos best of luck students happy learning